Today I'm going to talk about this amazing Tableau CRM functionality called collections. With collections, you can organize your Tableau CRM assets such as your dashboards, lenses in one place. Collections can be very powerful to create unique customer journey. In this video, I am going to show you a use case for collection. We are going to do a live demo for collections and then there's going to be a bonus section that will show you how you can drive adoption in your organization. So keep watching. Let's take a look at a use case. Meet Sally. She is the CEO of our organization. And Sally, every morning, she looks at several sales dashboards to understand sales trends, open pipeline, open one opportunity, sorry, one opportunities and so on. She also looks at service KPIs. Service is always on the top of her mind. She wants to make sure that the, the customers of the organization are getting the best service. So she is trying to understand how many cases were opened, how quickly these cases were, were, were resolved, uh, the top categories for cases. And then she also wants to uh, drive adoption uh, and utilization in her organization. So she has special change and adoption programs. Uh, and again, all these things are tracked through dashboards. So she wants to review them and make sure that the users of her organization are adopting Salesforce and Tableau CRM and other uh, tools uh, for her organization. But if you notice, What's happening here is Sally has to look at several apps or several dashboards. She probably has her own KPIs uh, or lenses that were created for her. Uh, and she has to go in, in, in several different places. And this is not time efficient for Sally. So what Sally has done is she has asked the Tableau CRM architect to see if there is a way to see all these important metrics in one place. So let's see how we can build that in Tableau CRM environment. I've logged into my Salesforce demo instance. So I'm going to go to Analytics Studio. And when I open Analytics Studio, to my left, I see Create Collection. So I already have two collections, one for sales and one for service. So let's click on that. Uh, as you can see, there are four things inside this collection. There's a trending uh, lens, there's a DTC sales and so on. And again, for services, uh, there are a couple of collections here. So let's create a collection for Sally uh, or let's let's create a collection for the C-level executive. So let's call it uh, executive collections and let's give it a color. Maybe let's give it purple, uh, give a description. This contains all the dashboards, lenses that executives use daily and click on save and once i do that this collection has been created so there are two ways of adding things to a collection one way is by going into a collection like this and then clicking on add and then finding a dashboard or lens so let me type sales and see what shows up uh, let's do sales stage details and click on add this is one way the other way is if I am on a dashboard, uh, let's do service analytics. Let's go into this app and I want to add service open cases. I can click on this drop down, say add to collection and select executive collections and hit save. Right. Uh, at this point, I have only created collections. It has not been shared with the C-level executives or the senior management. So really, uh, if I go here, we have fulfilled Sally's uh, request, right? Here we have uh, service cases, here we have sales stage details as well. So depending on what KPIs, what dashboard she, she is using, you can add those to her collection. And then all you simply have to do is click on share and then you can assign uh, this collection to a user group or role. So let's say if you have a group for C-level executives or uh, senior management, you will assign them to that group. That way uh, they can uh, see it when they log into Tableau CR. All right. So let's keep the configuration for now 
uh, like it is because I don't have a group for the C-level executives or senior management. I promised you there's a wonderful way of uh, driving adoption. So with Lightning, so let me go back to the homepage. You can actually embed your collections on to the homepage and it's very, very easy to do. So I'm on my homepage right here. And if I go here, click on edit page and scroll down. There was a Tableau CRM dashboard before, but now there is also Tableau CRM collection. So I can just drag this and put it here. For example, actually just let me put it here. Okay. And when I do that, it is defaulted to executive collection for now. I can change this, but I can also apply filters in terms of uh, component visibility. So let's say if I only want executive collection to be visible to a certain uh, uh, set of people uh, to for a certain group, I have that option just like I, I had that option for other components that I can add on the home page. So if I can go here, click on select, it gives me a list of fields, uh, users permissions and then I can uh, apply a component visibility that way you can have multiple collections. Let's say you can have collections for sales, collections for service, collections for executives, uh, collection for, for supply chain demand and so on. But you can use component visibility and ensure that sales collection is visible only to sales, service is visible only to, to service, uh, executive collection is visible only to senior management. What this will do is, let's click on save here. Let's do activate. It's fine, let's assign. Okay, let's go back. So what this will do is, Sally, next time when she logs in, she does not even have to go to Analytics Studio. As soon as she logs in, she gets all the important KPIs on her homepage. This will immediately drive adoption because there are way fewer clicks uh, than going to Analytics Studio and finding uh, the dashboards or KPIs that are important for users. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I really hope that you use collections in your organization to drive adoption and to make it easier for users to find dashboards and KPIs that are important for them. If you like this video, please feel free to share this with your friends, family, colleagues and subscribe to this video because when you subscribe, it helps me to create amazing content in future. It helps my channel to grow. Thank you and I'll see you next week.